Okay, so we're here in the cab getting this corn head set up. So a couple things to look at. First, this is a folding corn head. So if we want to calibrate those wings, which is always a good idea pre-season, go into calibrations and procedures, header, and then all the way at the bottom is our wing calibration. This only takes a minute, but especially if this is the first time you put the head on the combine, I would do this pre-season. But just like with a lot of these calibrations, it will walk you through everything you need to do. So high idle. Then we're gonna fully fold the corn head. And just keep holding. You can see the wings are folding in. I would also make sure you've got the head at a relatively normal height. Uh, you don't want it too high when you're folding, get close to the cab, something like that. But you're just gonna fold all the way in. Now we'll fully unfold. So we'll hold the button on the other side. So now it's moving the deck plates and that's all there is to it. So I hit save. One other thing before you do this calibration, make sure all your snouts are locked down. Um, see, I've got a couple that came up because I didn't have them locked in the down position. Usually it's not a big deal, but some, you know, you don't want to see this one once you're done. So another calibration to do, uh, if depending on your model year, you may need to do this every time you switch between corn and beans and put the corn head on. Uh, with these newer heads, it will save the calibration to your combine. So maybe just the first time. Double check your operator's manual for that. But if we want to do the true header calibration, remember we do the feeder house raise speed calibration first, then header calibration second. I've already done the feeder house raise speed, so we're just going to do header here. And what you'll see here, the engine's at high idle right now. I've lowered the feeder house and the header down to the ground. And then I hit start. For a folding corn head, it'll just verify that the wings are unfolded, which they are. If your head's a little bit on level, it helps you through that. Feeder house is already lowered, so I'll hit next. Now what this is doing, it already knows the weight of the header and how much to open and close that hydraulic system. So, and this is just learning the actual sensor positions from zero, which is all the way on the ground, to all the way up in the air. So that first one was just the position. Now it's gonna go through the AHC performance tuning. So the real fine tune adjustments. So we'll just hit next and we're gonna go down. And internally, the combine is moving the head around, finding the best settings for this particular corn head on this particular combine. So it doesn't take much, but it does shake around a little bit, just figuring out how quickly it can adjust things. But once that's done, just hit save. Last but not least, if we're talking about deck plates, First and foremost, pre-season, we want to manually set our deck plates to the proper spec. Once that is done, under calibrations and procedures, at the very top with the corn head connected, we'll have this deck plate spacing calibration. So we're in field mode. We've already got the machine at high idle. So now we're just gonna follow the instructions. So I'll hit my reel extend and hold that. 
I mean, that's finding the maximum and minimum travel ranges for our deck plate gap. And that's all there is to it. So we'll click save. And now this corn head is ready to go to the field.